In this video, we are going to show you how you can utilize a zero code trading bot to execute a flash loan and then simultaneously trade with that money, spitting that little bit of profit back into your wallet in one transaction instantly. Again, this is completely beginner friendly, meaning even if this is your introduction to crypto, you can do this. Anybody can do this and it took me about 30 seconds to learn how to work it. So if you don't know what a flash loan is, we just explained that in the last video. I'll leave a card right up here and a link as the pinned comment down below. If you have no idea what a flash loan is, as many people didn't, and as of a couple weeks ago, heck, even I didn't know what a flash loan was. But that's what we're here for. All I ask in exchange is if you learn something new, smash that like button, and if you enjoy free content that tries to avoid all the fluff content that is on YouTube, generally people trying to sell you a course or giving you knowledge that maybe won't really help you reach your goals or make some legitimate money, hit that subscribe button and make sure while you're down there, tickle that notification bell as you'll be the first one to know whenever we release content like this. So let's get into it. How can you utilize this zero code flash loan trading bot to make some money? Let's get into it. All right, so I will leave this link down below. This is furucombo.app, and this is where we're going to begin our flash loan trading journey. So you're gonna go to furucombo.app and you're gonna click launch app. Now you will need to, as you see in the top, connect your wallet. And this is a wallet that I set up just to, uh, well, for purposes of this demo. You can use any wallet you want, as there's really no risk involved here, and you're not gonna be signing anything that takes money out of your wallet. So extremely safe, vetted, audited contract. So once you're in this screen here, you can see there's three options on the top, invest, create, and learn. Now what we wanna do is we want to create our own series of blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and click create. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete all this that I had here because this is what you will be looking at when you first come in, outside of, of course, having to connect your wallet. So what we're gonna do, as I described in the last video, the flash loan is an A through D block. Now you can put as many combinations in between there as you want, but for the use of this demo, we're going to use four separate blocks in our one transaction. Now the hardest part about this is actually just dedicating the time to find a profitable trade. Chances are the first combo you put in is not going to be profitable. Heck, you might be lucky, it might be your day to go buy a lottery ticket, but if you dedicate the time, you can definitely find profitable trades. So these blocks here are where we're going to input our commands for Furu Combo Bot to execute. Now remember, the first thing we're doing is taking out a flash loan. So we're gonna click the center of the block, go down and click flash loan under Ave V2. What this is gonna do is initiate our loan and give us the funds that we need to trade with. Now for this, we're gonna go ahead and do uh, wrapped ETH. So let's go ahead and do WEATH. We're gonna take out a WEATH loan and let's just say we wanna take out 100 WEATH. Okay, so we're gonna click that and then click set and then we will get these two blocks here. Now block one is gonna be us taking out the loan. Block number two here is going to be us repaying the loan, but now we need something in between which is going to give us that profit. On the left here, you can see the initial funds we will need is 0 0.09, but don't worry about that because once we find a profitable trade, that will actually do nothing but deposit money into our wallet, and we will only need a minimal gas fee to execute this trade. So what we're gonna do down here, now we have these two blocks, take the loan, pay the loan, we're gonna add another block. Now this is gonna be where we start our first of two blocks that we're gonna be using to trade. So what I like to do, the one I like to use because things just seem to be generally fractionally cheaper is Paraswap. So we're gonna go to Paraswap and we're gonna say we want to take our 100 WEATH and we wanna trade that for, let's say, 
Uh, let's go ape token. So we're going to exchange our 100 weath for 28,000 essentially ape token. Now we're going to set that and we need one more block. So what we're going to do is go on here and we're going to find a different exchange to swap that ape token back to wrapped Ethereum. So let's go ahead and go down to say one inch and we're going to change this right here. So we have our ape token, which we're going to insert here and we want to exchange that back to wrapped Ethereum. So once you're here, whatever you're getting on this first swap, if you just click max, it will take that same amount. Now we click set. Now the one thing we want to do, because you can see the balance here is still skewed, we want to take the second block in our flash loan and drag it to the bottom. Now what you see happening is in these four blocks as described that we would use in the previous video, block number one, we take out our loan. In this case, 100 wrapped ETH. Block number two, we trade that 100 ETH for Ape token on Paraswap. Block number three, we go over to one inch and then trade that Ape token back to wrapped Ethereum. Now block number four, we pay back that loan. Now in this case, as I said, your first trade might not look profitable. In this case, our 100 weath comes back as 99.13, and we can refresh these prices on the top right to see if anything changes. Essentially, your job is to find a pair, and the pair could be any token that is offered in here, so you can go through and spend your time hunting. So any of these pairs you can loan, you can swap, and you can swap again on different exchanges. You can even go as far as inserting multiple blocks. You can put many different blocks in here. It does not just have to be limited to four. So you tinker around, you find a profitable trade, and once you find one that you will make money, even say half of 0 0.01, so even 0 0.005 weath, that's a profit in your pocket just for clicking a button. You can execute it, refresh, execute it again, and as long as it stays profitable, you simply keep clicking approve and you keep clicking send, and hey, that is 0 0.005 ETH just continuously deposited into your wallet. Now you can use ETH, but we like to use wrapped ETH because of those pesky gas fees and layer two, of course, not really being fully introduced yet. Yes, we have optimism on layer two, which just launched, but the total blockchain is not there yet and gas fees lately have been ridiculous. So once you find a trade that is profitable, you will approve the contract to use your wallet and then send that transaction. Now if you are doing something say on Ethereum and you're worried about gas fees, you can use transaction protection. All this means is if you have a transaction that would not pass, essentially it's a transaction that would fail, it will just revert the transaction and you won't lose any gas. So Furu Combo is really, really nice like that. So this is a bot that you can utilize. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know your profits. I have found Weath to Ape, Ape to USDT, and then back to Weath to be one of my more profitable pairings, which is probably going to be saturated now that I'm telling all of you that, so I will have to hunt for another profitable trade. As always, don't let the FOMO monster bite you in the ass. It's definitely going to be out there and trying. It's a scavenger. Keep hustling and always do your very best to stay profitable. Oh, and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and like this video down below. Thank you, much love to all the Hustle family out there.